Taking a live look now out at Amelie Arena. Puck drops there, seven tonight. Beautiful night inside or out, and uh, yeah, it just keeps getting better out there. Though the humidity, Bobby, has come back oh, a little bit. Oh, yeah. here you go. Josh. I know. I can't. Here can't win, you right? go. Yeah, it, it, uh, you're absolutely right. <laughs> and it will get a little bit warmer and a little bit more humid, especially Saturday and Sunday. So, yeah, it's going to feel a little bit more like summertime out there for a couple days. But then we'll, we'll start to see some changes. Gorgeous outside. Look at the beach, and you can see there's a little bit of sea fog off in the distance as well. But really, really nice at the immediate beach if you're heading out there for today. Very light winds has made for a fantastic afternoon. Now, temperatures will eventually get up into the mid 80s. Now, here at the coast, it'll be a little bit cooler, but Tampa by 85, 86 degrees like you see here. But then again, falling nicely down through the 70s for this evening. Let's head over to the weather wall. Let's talk those temperatures right now, warming up pretty quickly. We've got 84 in Temple Terrace right now, 83 in Lutz. Clearwater is already at 86 degrees. The no, it's at 81, 87 in St. Pete Beach. That sensor has been running warm, but it is warm. I can tell you that. 83 in Ruskin, 82 in Fishhawk right now. So big picture, not a big difference from the coast to inland locations, at least not right now. But later this afternoon, the wind will come on shore, and so we'll go low 80s for temps and then mid 80s for inland locations. Partly cloudy skies developing. Look at all these clouds developing and pushing to the west. It's not a lot. But the one thing you don't see in here is rain. One little shower trying to pop up over Highlands County. I don't think we see it. I think the better chance is well down south, uh, southeast Florida. This cold front will take a while. But I think by Monday, Tuesday time frame, it's going to try and push through the area and then eventually get cleared out of here by Thursday. Then, so we're talking next week, right? A week from today. But that will enhance our rain chances. We'll see a few even by the weekend, but just a few. So don't cancel weekend plans yet, but look at the drought monitor here. I mean, most of Pinellas, Western Manatee, Western Sarasota, that west wind we had this summer, right? We just didn't see a lot of rain, it all went inland. So we, we start with that. Now we're in the dry season and it's actually been a really dry stretch. So some rain this weekend, only about 20% chance, but that's not bad, right? We can't really complain too much about it. Nothing out there today. For the evening, we'll go from those mid 80s down through the 70s under partly cloudy skies. Right around sunset, skies will be clearing out, of course. Boating again, just fantastic. 71 in the water. Winds will pick up later on Sunday. So if you've got boating plans, I think even the first half of Sunday looks okay, but you definitely want to go between now and then because it looks windy all next week Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I think even into Friday. Uh, tomorrow morning, warmer. Upper 60s to near 70 along the coast, and our cool spots are normally in the 50s. Hernando and Citrus will be in the low 60s. And tomorrow afternoon, 85 today, 86 tomorrow. In fact, look at this. The blue is our forecast for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. The red is the record. So we're going to be close to it on Friday to a record high temperature. So a little bit cooler on Sunday, not by much, but you see a 10 to 20% rain chance this weekend. Again, don't cancel plans. There's what Saturday looks like. This is Sunday, which is even less, but then watch what happens as we get into Monday, eh, but Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, there's Tuesday right there. Wednesday has some scattered showers around, and then all of this trying to come our way by Thursday, which would give us our best chance for rain we've seen in a month. So we desperately can use it. You can see all the way through Monday, there's not a whole lot. So again, don't cancel those weekend plans, but you know, things are getting crunchy out there, right? You've seen your lawn. Uh, Veterans Day, absolutely gorgeous. Why did that get moved over there? That should say Saturday. Uh, 87 degrees. It will be warmer and it will be more humid for those Veterans Day parades. So keep that in mind.